Gather round. The BBC. Big Black. Yikes. You know the rest. Also, a news site if you're into news. Who who cares about news? Holy hell. Hugh Edwards, a man who paid, you know, £1,500, British pounds, so a decent, you know, a decent value of money right there for underage pictures of kids. Got arrested, got caught. Job done, eh? You think that should be there. Someone buys and put an admit to you, admit to being guilty of purchasing sexually explicit content of underage, some between the ages of seven and nine, gets arrested, pleads guilty, rest of your life in jail. Someone in jail does everyone a favour and th- slips you a butter knife while you're, you know, you're washing soap, right? No, no. Hugh Edwards avoids jail over child abuse. Can you believe it? So he was one of the most, the highest paid journalist at the BBC, okay? So they, the BBC are reporting this, so they're trying to hide it because obviously they hired a paedophile. And it turns out when they, this guy got arrested, they still paid him 200k. This guy was in jail and they still paid him 200 grand. What a fucking life that is for this man, eh? What a fucking life that is, cunt. Excuse my French. So he's been given a six-month sentence, suspended for two years. So basically, he's not going to jail. What does that even mean, given a six-month suspended sentence over two years? So basically, he's going to jail, but he's not actually going to jail. What does that mean? So he's on probation. <laughs> you fu- He got away with it. He's not actually going to jail. What? This guy admitted he was guilty to watching intercourse of underage kids. You know, penetration. You know, the f- he, it wasn't like a picture he found online, you know. He was rummaging around in his sofa and pulled something out. Went, That's weird. No, he paid money for it. He found them. He wanted to get them because he's a disgusting freak. And the best they come up with, and co- right, we've got a nice easy one here, boys. Yeah, so uh, he uh, he's admitted to being guilty. We found the images. Uh, he's a celebrity. Or celebrity, you know, he's a fucking journalist you'd recognise on BBC English News. You know what I mean? Like, I recognised him. I knew Hugh Edwards. Speaks like, he's not Scottish. Where, where is he? He's from Wales. He's a Welsh man, he is, I think. Anyway, but he's 63. Why not just lock this motherfucker up? Send him to the rest of his life to jail. Yeah? Instead, he has to... He's going to be basically on probation. He's on an extended probation period for a period of two years so basically yeah if he does anything in the next two years what is he gonna do in the next two years that gets him arrested oh hugh you've not you've not been bloody smoking dope again have you oh you you're right come here right that's it in jail cell no this guy is a pedophile and disgusting piece of work who's paid money to watch underage children underage kids do the dirty and he got away he's not even going into jail and their excuse was oh well he the abuse would be too much. He might he might get hurt. Oh, that's the fucking point of it, my friend. I think you are missing the specific reason. Everybody wants this motherfucker to be thrown in a metal cell in fucking Warwickshire. So he gets fucking done on me. No one wants this kind of these type of people alive. No one's going, oh thank god bloody Hugh didn't get taken yet. Imagine all the shit he would have been through in that cell. God, I, I hate to imagine. No, I hate to imagine the poor, you know, he, how he must feel. How anxious and scared he might be, he might be killed. What about the fucking kids in the pictures? Where did they come from? You know, it's always like, this guy gets in trouble. Who the fuck took the pictures? He just bought them. You know, where, where, the, who, who's, who, where, how, why is all this allowed? You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, you found the person who paid for it. That's not the root of the problem, my friend. You've just cut off a branch. The whole tree is still there, and it grows. It reheals, bro. I am Groot. Them images, like, who took them? How? How did he get them? You should be following this shit up. Maybe they are. Who knows? But you just feel like the more important thing here is this man gets put in jail. He's not been put in jail. So you wouldn't mention that this is like at least an operation. Most of the pictures were between 13 and 15. Okay, here we go. He's also required to complete a sex offender program. I bet that's really awkward on teams, isn't it? Hello, everybody, and welcome to I'm a Sex Offender 101. (laughs) I'm a sex offender for dummies. You shouldn't make jokes. This is a serious, serious conversation. He's also required to complete a sex... Yeah and will be on the sex offenders list for seven years. Seven years he's going to be on it. Poor guy. However, God, I'm starting to really feel for him. My heart, you know, he's really feeling emotional for this poor guy. That was a lie. He had 41 images. 41, which was sent to him on WhatsApp. I mean, I wonder how he, like, where do you find it? I'm asking for a friend. Nah, fuck. This is serious and I keep making bad jokes, so apologies. But you got to laugh, otherwise you would probably just end up in tears. But, you know, why? how does he find these sort of things? Oh, there we go. 
paid another man hundreds of pounds for gifts and presents in exchange. Oh my god, who's Alex Williams? It's a f so they did find the fucking cunt who did it. There we are, yeah. Oh my god. So that's his mate. That's his, I mean, he looks like a fucking oddball, doesn't he, really? But anyway, I want to get into one more thing. So he paid for 41 images of children, some between the ages of 7 and 8. And eight. You read online 12, uh, 12 and 15 there. Okay, whatever have you. Let me just show you this. And this is true. I know it's true. I remember seeing this lovely gentleman's face. And I'm going to leave you with this, the state of the world we live in. On the left, Bradley, sentenced to 20 months in prison for shouting at a police dog, pulling in probably, a, you know, go get your hair cut, you filthy dog. You know, something like that. On the right, Hugh Edwards received a six-month suspended sentence and not actually going to jail for being a paedophile and said, yes, I'm a paedophile. When you say you're guilty, that means you've done it. Two brothers were sentenced to 11 years in prison after hosting illegal streams for football matches, but a famous paedophile who had a computer full of child pornography get a two year suspended sentence serving just six months in prison so he does serve six months in prison apparently I thought a suspended sentence like it said there is mean you don't go. Keyboard warrior jailed for part in UK disorder so a guy who said throw eggs at your neighbours jailed. This guy got away with it. I know I'm not the most intellectual I know I'm not the most clever so I, I appreciate you watching this with me but it doesn't matter what side of the fence you are, underage is the probably the worst thing you can do ever he was caught guilty of doing you know watching these video and you know 41 images that's not like you know a mistake that's a fucking hobby you know that's something you'd put on your linkedin profile if it was legal like that is like the epitome of evil this isn't something you just tried he is a fucking dirty you know what and he's basically getting away with it and i think it just sums up the disgusting just the disgusting level that we're at as humans you can say something and get more time than a guy who admitted being a nonce i mean look at this picture here it's horrifying isn't it he's a disgrace but it's all right though he can he can go back to work in two years time can't wait to see him telling me about the war in ukraine or something like that like good lord Anyway, another horrible day, another horrible story. You know, you can't even say justice has been done because it hasn't. He's still out there and he'll probably be out there until the day he dies. Piece of shit.